Both teams ring and the substitution's in. Back again. Oh, he's so good at that. Can't hit. Long rebound to the hands of Galloway. Can't hit. Galloway knocks it into the hands of Detchen. 36ers will get another try. It's McCarran down low to Soto. Mismatch on Blanchfield. How much top Blanchfield could do there? In the low post on Kai Soto. Soto will head to the foul line. Kai Soto steps to the line. First there. Two for two. For Kai Soto. It's Corey Webster now. Fake right, went left. Couldn't hit the three and Soto with the rebound. So the 36ers will have the last shot of the quarter as we head down to five seconds to go. Randall one on one with Harris. Pull up left. Pull Big up for the three, no good. Soto with the offensive rebound. Couldn't get a shot away, and that brings us to quarter time. Here at the Eden Recreation Centre. Pre-season action here in the NBL. It's foul. Bryce Cotton reached in there. Cleveland had enough control to convert the layup. Out of the line for the three-point play. Yeah, Bryce got caught out a little bit there. Just ball watched there, and Cleveland got over the top of him. Great pass out of the post. Johnson has a seat, Kyle Soto. Here's McCarran. Cleveland now. Long pass over to Harris. Nice little hand up for Kai Soto for the two-handed dunk. And the margin's back to two now. Back out to Randall. McCarran on the left. He's got Soto underneath. Another little hand off. Hayes Brown. Oh, Kai Soto. Just too tall and Ollie Hurd. Not much. Might have been a tippy-toe dunk there for the <coughs> Filipino. And there's that reach from behind foul that John really wanted. A couple of possessions ago. We've got a timeout, 5.24 remaining in the second quarter. We've got a tight ball game in here at the Eaton Recreation Centre. 32 apiece, 36ers. Done very well. So 32 apiece. Margin now. McCarran looking for Randall. Doesn't fire the three. Ted uses a screen from Harris. This time fires the three. Can't hit. Soto with the offensive rebound. Nice little touch pass underneath to Harris for two. Oh, he threw the second defender and Todd Blanchfield all by himself in the corner for three. Oh, lovely, lovely two-man game there. Craig Randall to Kai Soto, another dunk for Soto. Just trailed that play nicely. A beautiful dish from Randall. Soto starting to have a big influence on this game so far. Zunik in the corner long on the three. Wildcats get another chance though. The shot clock stayed running. Cotton couldn't hit. But Dex didn't take that rebound. He left, left it to leave it out of bounds. Cotton saved it. 36 has come away, straight back into the hands of Bryce Cotton, out of nowhere. That's great hustle. Here's Webster again, for three. No good, knocked out of bounds. And it's off Hayes Brown, I thought Soto had more of a hand. Thomas can't find Cotton. A wasted opportunity there for the Wildcats. In transition, they had the advantage. 
Any young players there? Double foot stop. <laughs> Make that pass. Don't pass in the air. <laughs> Especially when you can't see them. It's an old Wildcats threatening to run away. 36 is going a little run themselves. Can they? Sunday Ditch. Pulls it back to eight. Here's Webster. Screen step from Hayes Brown. He cuts. Out to Cotton. A little bit of space given to him from Ditch. Cotton. Didn't take it in again. Here's Marshall. Screen. Doesn't use the screen from Soto. He does now. Gets the switch with Hayes Brown. Soto's by himself. Marshall couldn't find him. What has it been? Wildcats and two subs. Or good hard take there. Lozunic. Well deserved. One for two. <laughs> Soto snatches it off the rim. <laughs> it jumped and his head was nearly above the rim. <laughs> jumped about two inches. Response oh, from yeah. Nick Marshall is good. Good transition. So again, the Wildcats threatening to push the lead out well into the double digits. 36ers respond again, back to six. Four minutes to go now in the third. Here's Corey Webster. Soto jumps out. No foul call there. Cross-court pass from Webster, picked off by Marshall. He's got Blanchfield ahead of him. Takes a one-on-one -on -one and scores. Blanchfield did well not to call, to, uh, to call for the foul there. Good finish by Nick Marshall, and we're back to four. Zunik, a bit out of control, but Son of Ditch gets away the foul. Team foul on the 36ers. They are in the penalty. 3.41 to go in the third quarter. Pace Brown. Hands off to Zunik. A little bit of space there. A little floater in the lane as Marshall came to him. Nice touch there. Really nice touch. Oh, the technical foul. The tech foul called on Hayes Brown. I think that's for it's a second delay game. Delay game. Be careful from here on. As Marshall converts the technical free throw. 36 is a retain possession. Back down on the baseline. Heads. Here's Webster. Nice little dish. Great screen and roll. Between Webster and Hayes Brown. Kai Soto. Hey, Ollie Hayes Brown can't convert. Shooting a bit flat. Yet to hit a foul shot tonight. Of oh, three now from the line. Wildcats also with a penalty now for the remainder of the quarter. Of oh, four now for Hayes Brown. Soto can't control the rebound. The Wildcats have got another opportunity. Fresh 14 on the shot clock. Leading by five. Here's <laughs> Corey Webster. Can't hit. Aaron Galloway with the rebound. Detch, Soto now. He's got Lamford on him. We like this matchup. He goes strong against Hayes Brown. A nice finish from Ty Soto. Hayes Brown came over to help. A little bit too late. Soto took advantage of the mismatch. We've got a backcourt violation. Good pressure again. Shot clock. Flick out to Norton for three. It's CJ Webster. Time out here, CJ I think. Bruton has seen enough. Call for timeout. 
I think he wanted it right there and then the bench, he didn't get down to the bench to tell him. No, not quick enough. McCarran can't hit the three, it hits the structure above. Here comes that timeout for CJ Bruton. 85-70, the Wildcats have blown the lead out this year from what we've seen so far this yes. evening. Yeah. A few heated discussions with the officials already tonight. We'd love to see it though. Let's take Sean Thomas. Quick first hey, step uh, across Solo. Throws it down. It's Thomas knew it. Blasted past Soto. It's Cleveland. Daniel Johnson. Three-pointer off the screen. DJ. A little steadier there for the 36ers, but they need stops. Just keeps doing it year after year. Evergreen is the veteran. Here's Blanchfield and rolling Thomas, stopped by Johnson. Look for Travers in the corner, but it was a loose pass and there's a turnover for the one Cleveland. Kick out to Cotton, three-point shot, no good. Travers kept it alive, but into the hands of Soto. Takes rebound number 10. Here's Johnson, out to Cleveland. Back to Johnson, another three-point attempt from the veteran is good. That's two in a row now. Yeah. Johnson. Great composure. They got the block. Marshall. Match Norton fronting solo under the key. Here's Cleveland. Good block from behind for Travers. We've got a block. Oh, called on Norton. Very late call. Very late call indeed. And his athleticism, like you said, he worked on those ball ball handling skills, and he can put the ball on the floor and accelerate. He's and create. So um, he create his own shot and create a shot for others. So <coughs> he'll be looking for a big year this year. Cleveland goes two for two. Back to single digits again. This is Karen and Marshall. Cleveland lurking and it's locked loose. It's exactly what the 36 has wanted out of bounds. Cutting the dismargin. Marshall pressured by Cotton. To Cleveland. Here's Johnson. He's going to look for another three. Did two already. Long on that one. Soto kept it alive. Tapped it into the hands of McCarran. Good block from behind by Blanchfield. On Marshall. Soto under the basket. Can't hit. Wildcats wanted three seconds. He's getting told by the referee to uh, kindly sit down. Soto at the line. Can't hit on the first. These are, these are the points. 36ers need to convert. And they're hanging tough here, Adelaide, as they have all night. One for two for Soto. So John really out on the court. Just saying, he's <laughs> nearly in the key way. They might have to put a chain on him sometime oh, during the season. Right. I love the passion though, even in a pre-season game from the head coach of the Wildcats. Here's Zunik, picking up a loose ball, firing for three, can't hit. Kyron Galloway with the rebound. Here come the 36s again, and Bryce Cotton giving away a foul. In transition. Timeout. John really calling a timeout. It's a foul from Bryce Cotton before the timeout, pushed them over the limit. So Nick Marshall at the foul line. Two shots. And makes the first. So yeah, game on here. Great way to start the preseason. In front of a sellout crowd here in Bunbury. Two for two for Marshall. And that leads back to six now. Full court press again. But Travis gets away fairly easily from Galloway. Slow down though. Danny Johnson was ahead of him. Walk has to set up their offense now. Thomas out high. Norton setting the screen for Cotton. Double team. From Thomas and Cleveland. Travers out to Norton now. Going baseline. He's double team. Thomas has to fire and hit. It's a long two. Back to eight now. Marshall. Johnson is going to look for that three again. This time it's short. Good contest from McCarran keeping it alive. And that's going to be foul number five on Mitch Norton. Number four. 
Well, we've got it as five. I had it as five, yep. And that's Block five, that's what I thought. Confirmed yeah. by the, uh, the score bench. No, that's five. McCarran made the first. Two for two. Three subs for the 36ers. Dad Chakut. Craig Randall back on. Almost forced the turnover. Get into the hands of Randall. Shot clock down to 10 now. Randall one on one with Corey Webster. Pulls up for the three. Still can't hit. Good contest of the boards. Into the hands of Travis. He's got Cotton ahead of him. Got loose in transition. The Wildcats slow things down. Thomas behind the back. Round of Coots. Out to Blanchfield. Out to Cotton. 36 is scrambling here on defense. Corey Webster all oh, by himself in the corner for three. 36 is lost sight. Great offense there. Great offense. <coughs> ball moving from the Wildcats. Lead back out to nine. They need to continue to play offense like that. Good hands. Wildcats. Get the turnover into the hands of Cotton. Got Webster trailing. Travis in the corner. Looks for the three. Decides to take it after all. Can't hit. Byron Galloway with the rebound. Here's Randall. Takes it to the basket this time. Loses control. Into the hands of the crew. Challenged by Blanchfield and he got the basket anyway. Looking for the non-ball there. Back to seven. Under two and a half to go now in the game. Wildcats just make another turnover for the Wildcats. Another chance for the 36 as Randall this time still can't hit. The rebound by Galloway and he puts it back for two. Back to five. Yeah, this is what we've seen all night from Adelaide. Perth get out and then Adelaide just grind away, grind away. The last couple of offensive sets haven't been great by the Wildcats. See what they got here. Keep their composure. Thomas, probably the best offensive option for them at the moment. Little pick and roll, two man game. 94 87. Here's Dench. 36 is going to need to score fairly quickly. Randall, one on one with Cotton. Out to Galloway, straight on three pointer is short. Marshall climbs over the back of Blaney's offensive possession out as long as they can. Shot clock down to 10. Cotton around Marshall, around a coot, draws the foul. Yeah, quite yeah, like, on. Quite like that little match up there. A little hesitation, put it on the floor. Here in the NBL, Nick Marshall's done a pretty pretty good job yep. defensively on, on Bryce Cotton tonight. Yeah, I think he had, and, and he gave a bit of, a little bit of offense too there in that third quarter. So he's um, done a great job, and I think. And, uh, and the way they've sort of set up, they've got a couple of defensive players in their group. The, the 36ers, and they're going to be important throughout the season for sure. So nine points here, so big uh, offensive play here for Adelaide. Here's Randall. Good hustle here by the Wildcats. Turnover. So that should just about do it, the Wildcats. We'll take the win. We're going to plan here. 45 seconds to go, leading by nine. Here's Blanchfield, little spin. Quarter of line is good. Popped it in one hand. Pushes that lead out now. Guys, Cotton coming out. So, Fister and Apasu, Ipasu, seeing his first action for the 36ers. Blanchfield again, Sunday Ditch. Straight away from the foul line, no good. Blanchfield with a rebound. And they'll probably do it anyway. Wildcats will take the win. The first action of the 2022-23 season. The win for John Riley in his debut as coach for the Wildcats. We tick down 98-87 will be our final score. The Perth Wildcats take the victory over the Adelaide 36ers. Very competitive matchup. Good solid outing for both teams. A lot of positives for both coaches to take with them. Yeah, back. Yeah, I think great hit out. Yeah, great, great hit out by both teams there, and I think they've been both pretty happy. 
with what they see. Um, obviously, a few additions to both teams. Um, the imports out on both sides. Yep, to come in. So, to come in. Uh, but I think you know some of the players that the, I won't, you know the, the the bench players. Let's just call them. And, and I apologise for that <laughs> you know, comment. But the players are not going to get big minutes and have got some good minutes tonight. And the coaches had a good look at them. Um, you know.